Over at Terre Haute South, defending state shot put champion Jason Swearens signed his letter of intent to continue his track and field career at the University of Wisconsin. Swearens is continuing a family tradition as both of his grandparents went to Wisconsin and his grandfather even suited up for the Badgers football team. He's looking forward to the challenge of competing against the best of the best in the Big Ten. I'm very excited. The Big Ten is probably the best throwing conference in America, so it's going to be some good competition. They're looking for some Big Ten championships in the future, maybe even some national championships. Terre Haute North Patriots soccer phenom Sasha Thompson is staying close to home as she's committed to Indiana State University. The all-time Patriots goal scorer is a four-time all-conference forward and has an all-state honor to her name as well. She's excited for the opportunity to stay close to home while also playing against D1 opponents. It's been a good four years at North. I'm blessed for the opportunity to be able to play at ISU and I'm ready to take on the challenge of playing at the next level. I'm super excited to see how far I can grow and like what can happen playing at the higher level. West Vigo infielder Caleb Hannes announced earlier this year that he'd be continuing his baseball career in the Missouri Valley Conference, but not at ISU with his dad, Coach Mitch Hannes, as some thought. The senior signed on with the Valparaiso Crusaders. Last year, Hannes led his Vikings defensively with a fielding percentage just over 900. He also got things done at the plate, hitting five home runs and driving in 15 RBIs. I'm just thankful for the opportunity to play Division One baseball and to play in a good baseball conference. We'll bring hard work every day and just competing to get the job done every day. Northview senior Cambry Lucas has been a kill machine for the Knights volleyball team since the day she took the court. Today she became the newest Skyhawk as she signed with UT Martin. The Skyhawks are getting a star as Lucas set the school's single game kills record and was selected to the first team All-State in 3A this past season. I'm super excited, um, kind of nerve-wracking, but it just feels like I shut a new door and like I'm ready for the next chapter. I'm so blessed like I get this opportunity and I'm ready to take it like to the next level. Sticking with volleyball, the Sycamores pulled in a star of their own this afternoon as Sullivan's Asia Pavlin committed to ISU. Pavlin left her mark on the Arrows program as she has over a thousand kills for her high school career and was selected to the 3A All-State second team this year. I've definitely worked really hard for this, so like for the dream to come true, it like, I'm just so proud. Over in Greene County, Kip Fugers made his mind up years ago that he was going to be a Hoosier. Today, he doubled down, signing to play for the Indiana University baseball team next season. Fugers is regarded as one of the best seniors in the state for baseball and played for Team Indiana this past year. Last year, Fugers had an incredible batting average of 519 for his Linton Miners. The Linton senior says he's ready for the next level of competition. I'm excited to see where I am with everybody in the country. Uh, I've done a little bit of that with travel baseball and... Uh, you know, I've, I've held my own, so I'm ready to take it to the next level. In Illinois, Paris senior Caitlin Matthews committed to Ball State University to continue her softball career. Matthews was a part of the Tigers team that ran the table in the LIC last season on their way to the conference title. She says today has been something she's dreamt about for a long time. This has been a moment I've been waiting for ever since I um, knew when I was little that I wanted to play college softball. Um, so I'm just really overwhelmed with gratitude that I get to today and there's just so many people that made this possible and I'm just very thankful.